What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we gotta do our Heroic Scrolls. I know, I know, probably one of the more boring, boring things about this week, but uh, yeah, we got the Hero Lottery, I think, oh man, I actually don't know what hero to go for, because technically, we don't need any more Arania copies, we already finished our Soul Awakening grouping for her. I think if we don't have any great copies, it probably doesn't hurt just going for her, to be honest. Probably the smart move, and I think that's what we are going to do. We got a ton of scrolls, and I did take the time to make a bunch of bag space so we can do a lot of them in groupings. Uh, I think we'll just do the full 2,000. We got the scrolls for it anyway, so it's not like a big deal. So, yeah, I guess we just go in. We're going to be getting those soul sparks for the first, I think, what, 1,500 scrolls that we do. Kind of just hoping for some food here, but we have just so much food. I don't even know who to build right now. We could just build a bunch of five like E5 heroes, but again, I don't know what the point of doing that is. If I had like unlimited stellar shards, I would just build a bunch of 10 stars. Uh, but oh my god, what is this five star rate? What is this five star rate? Okay, we finally got another one. I almost kind of want to do heroic scrolls outside of event to try to get the 300 with 300 summons with no five star hero wow uh to get the avatar just give us a little bit more power but mm, i don't know if that's really necessary really just the big thing holding back our account at this point is star spawn wow couple new abyss heroes for the abyss summoning session not bad not bad uh we still have ridiculous amounts of food up here we have 120 120 heroes up the top of that bar <laughs> that's just absolutely nuts uh, but the important part of this is to hopefully get some Arania copies. Man, we're getting a lot of Abyss heroes. Uh, get a lot of Arania copies and, of course, get some more gear and all that fun stuff. So, let's see what we got going on here. Um, not great so far, I'll say that much. We will get our guaranteed pity timer here in this session, this little grouping here. We have so many five, like three-star heroes. Good lord. Why are we getting so many three-stars? Give us those five-stars. Then again, like I said, I don't know what to do with the food nowadays because, like, I guess I just keep building E5 heroes, but, like, what's the point? I already have 10 teams worth of heroes. Like, okay, is that the is that the guaranteed one right there? Let's go to summoning prizes. Yeah, that's the guarantee. So we are on the pity timer, uh, but at least we don't have to worry about getting, like, nine copies because, well, nine copies isn't anything special we don't need to build a hero today it's literally just gonna be copies for soul awakenings in the future especially if blood tide queen arania ends up being a strong hero she seems like she has promise we do need to do a bunch of testing with her though to see exactly how she's gonna turn out um alter all these well actually hold on hold on how many of these do we got 2000 yeah let me uh let's do the smart play here for once guys let's just use up all of our four star shards because i don't want to we're we're actually starting to run a little low on three stars even on our main account here so popping as many of these as possible seems like a solid plan to me especially considering how many three stars we have like we still have a lot of them chilling in here. So this is kind of the optimal way of using your four star shards is when you finally get a chance to do a heroic summoning event, you need to unload your four star shards into the three star shards and don't do what I normally do. And that is just destroying all of your hero copies. Oh God, I think I just screwed myself. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'll be back. Anyway, back to our summons. Let's keep going. Oh, I actually had to use some three stars there because I did that improperly. We got another triple pull, which it seems like we're getting a lot of triple pulls, just not of the newest heroes just yet. Uh, I do like how we have these prey events, though, now. It does feel like you have a lot more choice and control. However, most heroes in their normal state that come out nowadays are not that impactful. Some of them, like Holmes Young, in the early game, they can be kind of, sort of impactful. But uh, 
Yeah, it's just, I, I kind of hope we go back to having relevant non-transcendence heroes, but I honestly don't think, I, I can't see how that happens, especially since so many upgrades nowadays are, like, exclusively to the transcendence heroes, like, even the tree, like, the trees of origin, like, you can put origin points into other heroes that aren't transcendence, but they don't have an actual tree that expounds on their abilities, so... Uh, we got an Inosuke there. We got a nice double pull, which is pretty sweet. Looking good, looking good. Come on, give us some other good stuff here. Give us some goodies. I want to be able to finish this event out today, claim all of our rewards, and then decide how we build our heroes, mainly thinking about our void campaign progress, in my opinion. There's another Arania copy. I don't know why. I feel like that is probably the pity, right? So nope, we hit it a little bit early, just a little bit, not a lot. And actually, you know what? I think we're only going to do 1,500 summons here, just the minimum guarantee that we need to guarantee all the rewards. Uh, I think that's probably the smart play. Let's try to do this and not mess up. It messed up when I saw it summon like 10 of each of them. I was like, oh, God, there's no way. There's no way. All right, we can do a few more of these. Like, we're almost tapped out of our four-star shards, which is good and bad. We're going to be able to build a lot of food here. Let's do one more grouping, and then we'll just leave the rest for me to do another time. Because, again, I don't want to mess this up at all. Uh, we do have, yeah, not that many three-stars. So, we'll just disassemble them and continue on. So... We're going to go until we get our next Arrhenia copy, and then we have to see how many more summons we have to do. I don't think there's a point doing more than 1,500. I'd rather just keep saving scrolls up in case I want to do, like, a crazy amount for a new hero that's really fun to use. But gone are the days that building, like, multiples of a hero is even necessary. Like, remember the days where we built, like, three Tara all together? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> we got an Azrael copy right there as well. Anything else good going to come from this event? Probably not, but the soul sparks are the important part because we are finishing out this event. That is a guarantee. So, hoping we get our Star Swordsman Mockman leveled up quite a bit after this event as well. We're going to have more cores and more stellar shards, which is nice. Look. Good, looking good. Come on, give us that other Arania. I still, seriously, I still think Akasha is Arania every single time I see her pop up. Like, every time. I know they're not that similar looking, but, like, when you're not, like, focusing on individual heroes, it definitely feels that way. Got a Lutz copy right there. Nothing else, probably. Yep. So, we are what? How many scrolls in? I think, like, 1,200-ish. Somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I guess we should keep doing this. I mean, until we've used them all up. Probably a smart play because we do have tons of three stars after these summoning sessions. So, yeah, I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll do it. Um, Make sure we still have three stars. We do. Cool. Our last group, maybe. 300. So, we got to do one more after this. And that should be all of them. Then we can just trash our three stars. Boom. All 180. Not quite. I lied. One more. One more. And this is how you guys should be doing this every single time. Do not waste your three stars. We're not getting those scratch-off ticket-style events anymore, which kind of sucks. I really want them back. Okay, so let's finish this out. We need to do 180 more. Okay, 180, 180. Let's do 180. So that's one. I'm not going to keep track of this very well, I don't think. There's three. No five stars. No five stars. Okay, we got a scary. That's not bad. We got a Lutz back to back five stars. Can we keep getting more of them? There's a queen. We're getting a ton of Abyss heroes. It's weird that you select Arania and you, then you get a ton of them. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's an Arania copy. And I think that's the guarantee. So yeah, we just got to do six more and we will be done with this event. So one. We get one more. Two. Three. Four. Got an Andrea. That's a rare one to see. Dantalian and nothing. Oh man. All right. All right. 
We're gonna wait, wait. Let me make sure I claimed all that stuff out first. I don't wanna make that many mistakes. Oh, uh, and we're gonna grab the extra three copies out because those are gonna be more gear sets. And we got our dailies done now that we did our heroic summon. So yeah, we're good to go. We're about to have a lot of fun in this event. We've done everything. We've got every single thing. So next time, or actually before you even see this, you might see that give me everything video. Make sure you guys are adding me for your cores. I'm going to have the bot running most of today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.